This week I'm working with my dad putting the Cabelco SK26SR to test. I'm the Digger Girl, this is episode 64, let's go. We're on Tuesday morning and we are back to the, the grind after Scott plan. I'm still recovering, I'm still absolutely knackered from it, but there's plenty to be done. Um, so you might remember this trailer, what was abandoned in the field um, from when we'd done the water track last year. So I'm now taking it back along because I need that water pipe further along there. Um, so yeah, let's get hooked up and make sure there's still air in these tires. It's an absolute crack in my machine, it's so tidy as well. Um, the zero tail swing on it as well. Very good for working in about tight places. Right, my job for today is... Now that I've just phoned Dad and actually found out what's going on, um, is put a water pipe in here, all the way back round the corner it goes and backfill it. Now this is just for the troughs for the field for the animals. Um, so it's going up the back to be hidden out the sight of the house like the troughs are. So this is just a good wee job, but I'm gonna struggle to get this water pipe in. I've got some obviously on the wheel on the back to pick up. I don't know if I'm just going to reverse the pick up back here and then just drag it round there. I'm thinking about that because it's hard to pull that out myself. I'll just be making a mess of it. So yeah, let's see how we go on. I'll reverse it back up here, I think. Move that new machine out of the way. So here it is inside the little SK26SR. It's um, a three ton machine in reality, two and a half ton. Um, so the cab is obviously going to be small, but it is a bit more spacious than other Wee machines I've been in. Um, it's got the new LED screen here, it's got all the heating, heating controls here. It actually feels like, um, it actually feels like I'm in a bigger cab with the high spec on this machine. Got the quick hitch over here as well. It's got aircon also, um, which usually comes as an extra on like machines and stuff. It's also got the um, wee bits in the buckets to grab the buckets like this, which makes it so easy just moving around sight. I know a lot of buckets do have them now, but it's just um, an added extra, isn't it? Nearly there. <laughs> oh. oh my god. This is the weather I don't miss. When it's really warm but raining. <sighs> oh jeez. So the trough will get put in here somewhere, I'm not too sure where, but at least it's to the fence now. Get this thrown in, get in the machine, oh, and get my breath back. Another thing this machine has what our wee mini Hitachi doesn't have is the auto de deceleration. So it's just the revs go down itself like they do in bigger machines, but a lot of wee machines you don't have to do, yeah, you actually have to do it manually. So you hear the revs just change there, so that's another good thing because there's nothing worse when you're jumping, you're in a machine, you jump out, you're doing groundworks, whatever, and then the, the machine's still revving away because you forgot to manually turn them down when you're used to it. So that's another wee bonus about this machine too. Right, let's go and put this to work. I've left the weir buckets there and I've got the um, ditch bucket, graded bucket, whatever you want to call it, to go and get this bit back filled. See how we get on.
it's a raised beach up here, so it's pretty good for back filling. One thing I miss is the utility bucket. <laughs> Obviously, I don't have one on this machine. It makes tidying up a little bit easier and quicker. But this is a lovely little machine. It's really smooth, actually. I'm really impressed with it. So I'll just do this roughly, work my way in, and then coming out, I will tidy it all up um, properly. So this is the only way in and the only way out. It's really hard to get a good camera angle of what I'm actually doing here because if I sit up on that side, you only see half the bucket. If I sit on this side, you only see half the bucket. So it's a little bit tricky. Maybe I'll put the half slew on so you can see a bit better. There we are, that's a little bit better. Although I can't really see that good now. There we go, that is that job all done. Well, not all done. Need to do this bit down here. Need to put a stop clock in. Need to continue it over the barn. But that is what I'm doing for today. I'm going to jump back out into the office, do a stock take from last week, and, and order more merchandise. Um, so, yeah. We'll see how we get on there. Just going to abandon my trailer somewhere here as well. Just came back out to the yard to get... Um, to do my stock count and send some merch from whatever else. And look what's been delivered home. <laughs> my machine, oh, that's nice dipper. <laughs> my machine after Scott plant. It's not often the two of the quotas are in the same place at the same time. But yeah, thanks for Melks to getting that back up the road for me. The barriers are down there, I'll need to get them later on. But yeah, it's good to have it home again. We're on Wednesday morning and this morning we are back where I was yesterday with the Cabelco. Um, Dad's currently on the, phone, on the phone to Michael, our insurance guy, because his back window has smashed. They just came out one morning and it was just smashed. Um, so he's speaking to, we're speaking to see if we get through insurance or if we just get it ourselves. Again, it's just more hassle that this Nevada is causing us. I feel the whole thing just needs to go now. Um, but Dad just came to give me a hand roll out some of this water pipe and tell me where it's to go because I don't don't know. So yeah. Let's go and get this rolled out and see what's happening. Well, Dad's still on the phone and I'm waiting for him. I'm going to make up my daily, <laughs> my holy. Um, this morning I'm having strawberry and kiwi hydration because I do feel severely, severely dehydrated from Scott Plant weekend. Um, just didn't drink enough. Too busy talking to everybody. So I'll have this. Strawberry and kiwi was probably my favourite one. Although they all taste really good. Have you got yours yet? I suggest you do because they're super good. I usually have an energy, but I feel like hydration is probably more going to hit it this morning. Mind, I still have a discount code for this. I it's their girl five, but I'll put the put the description in the link in the bio if you guys are interested in it because yeah, every day daily. I'm off the phone. Let's go. Dipper's first day in the Cabelco. Plenty of room for him to sit down there. Um, it also has Bluetooth in it as well. It does have an aux down here and a, a USB bit and a phone holder, which is really handy. 
let's get digging. I'm going to change the bucket over first. I'm um, going to put on that wee bucket there and take this one off. Crack hitch is really easy to use in this. Crown the bucket around like always. Crown the bucket around like that. Put it on. Press open. That will open it up. One. Be back on, kind of back round and lock. Perfect, let's get digging. Right, first hurdle for the week of Belco is getting over this this fence. Now this is all fine, but when you're doing this, you just have to watch that none of the wire gets caught in the track and pick it, pick it up and hit the machine. Also need to move that water pipe even more out of the way. Yeah, I'm gonna have to lift the machine up a little bit. So what I've got to do is dig a wee trench from here all the way round to there you can see the pipe there's a bath or something right up there so it's to go all that way so i'm going to get digging here i'll start from where we finished off there'll be a joint there somewhere and yeah just get digging nice to be easy one Pure sand coming out of there, it's great for backfilling with. That is me just getting to the end now. Just gonna step over that side there. It's a trough, it's just here what I'm going to. It's down a little bit from the trees the whole way along just because the roots, because we still have any more work than I have to, of trying to dig through roots. And it'd be big ones at that, but big trees.
job done, let's go and swap this bucket over and get this back filled. backfill just giving it a wee track in with this here it push it down a little bit and then get the turf over the top and that will be it again I'm just pulling the turf back over This is actually a game changer, how easy it is to pull it through and a lot easier when someone's helping you unlike yesterday. Look at this trailer while he's doing that absolutely buggered from sitting out there, we need to give it a good clean off. The leaves are about into soil there. That's you! There we are, job done. A wee short of rain and you'll not even be able to see where that's been. Um, what a difference to get it dug out and put back in the dry weather. Okay, job done, see you guys tomorrow. We're on Thursday morning and what a beautiful day it is. It is short weather again. Um, Dad's here this morning connecting up these fittings for me and showing me the other couple jobs he's done here. You didn't think I'd get all that done yesterday, but I did. Um, just getting this all tied up now, it's just a few it's kind of straggly little jobs so thankfully we do have that we can put in here um to get it all done i've just got this four inch there's a stopcock here just put down for the farmers for the for we go to the trough so you can turn it off if need be um so that's a way along just connecting up the trough just now i'm sitting out the field with dipper because there's cows calves sheep and lambs in that field so keep him out the way Put this in here to turn that off and then I can backfill this a little bit and that'll be another job done. I should have got the saw for that, I need to go back down and get the saw. I've got used my pipe cutters for that. But you come with me, leave them cows, come on, come on. Turn my back for two minutes and he jumps on the machine. Look how handy it is. Any scratches on it, it wasn't me. I feel like it's quite long on the track base which is good for making it stable with being no tail swing as well. Makes a big difference. Dad's also asking if it's noisy in the cab, which it doesn't because it's got that integrated noise and dust resistant and cooling system. So when a door's shut in the cab you hardly hear anything. It's really really nice actually. I had the door shut yesterday and the air caught on because the little fella was struggling towards the end of the day. Had to close the window. Now we're just going to finish digging this little track here, find the mains in here, connect it up and that'll be that job done. Okay, take it, you're staying in the machine then, Dad. I think he's got a little shot of it. So he's just changed over to the bigger bucket with no teeth and digging pipe goes this way so we dig with the pipe instead of digging that way because there's a lot more chance you'll catch it no teeth digging towards it you're not going to do any damage to it if you just go canny Dipper you come here and of course I've got the shovel to do any fine digging once needed smooth operator I won't tell him that though Oh, 
good as there is an awful lot of people that it's good on to, which will be fun to try and join it up. I've just cleared round about it there and dad's away to see if, <laughs> if this is the right pipe we're going on to here. Fairly old that one. Grinder was just not big enough to get right through, so Dad's got the still saw on the job. Um, he should have ear defenders on, but he's not had them on for 40 years and his hearing is better than mine, so not sure how that works. <laughs> Dad was in raiding all my goodies. Look what I got from the weekend. He stole this, he stole a hat, and I told him there's another big box of goodies for him as well. Plenty of goodies from Scott Plant, which was really nice. Well, that's what we're looking for there. The hammer. I also booked this in to get a new windscreen. But it's an hour and a half, I've got to take it to get it. So that might be a job for mum next week. Still need to get the back door fitted on it as well, but that's someone else you've got to deal with to get that done. So I tell you, that thing needs buried. What? There we are, that's it all put together. Just need to tidy up these cuttings, get a couple of pictures, send them to the owner so they know what's going on there. Put a bit over that one so we can turn that off if needed. And job done, no leaks. Another good job done. Now another one, let's go see what's happening now. That's how a track should be backfilled. The cows have been in it there, but this is where the soil was sitting. The grass is still there. After a shower of rain, I'll leave it even better. Oh, the water's coming out there now. That's why I've just ran over. It's a bit slow coming out. This is off the hill, look at the colour of it. But perfect, that'll just get put into there, pumped into there, and that'll be it. Looks like I've lost my digger. Dad is back filling around about this manhole now. Oh, and that's a cover off. What was that? Trick. Seen that trick, eh? Try not hit it. Try not hit it. Even get him into that now. Plenty of room in there for you. Not really, not. Oh, put it, it's a lot better than, put it back now. That's how you had it. Put it back. There you go, you get a sweet sleep in there. Can your feet reach them pedals? That's more than, than the Hitachi. Right, so this was one Dad put into here because originally it was going there. It's now going there for the, down, the standing pipe for that and the electricity. It's coming from the house and going down to the water tank that we put in down the bottom there. So he hand dug under this clay drain um, before and now we're having to redig under it to pull it back to there to go into there. So I've hand, hand dug around this bit and Dad started doing that bit because there is a mains electricity in there too. <laughs> My last little job was to dig a small trench from here over to that one to put that 25 in here and connect it. It doesn't have to be deep because it's only temporary and um, let's see if we get it done. I had put Dipper in the car the aircon on because it's just too hot. It's shown 26 degrees today, um, which is really, really hot for him. Um, he feels like he's something terrible. 
so he done the digger earlier on so for the aircon in there for him and hopefully it'll cool down a little bit. Just gives me the fear for summertime having him about. But anyway, let's get cracked on and dig this. That is me all done for today. It was quite nice working with my dad today. and um, We don't really get days like that very often, so it is nice um, getting a wee day like that together. So You might notice in that time lapse, I was on my phone. Dad was di hand digging and I was on my phone. That's not because I was watching him doing all the work or playing about my phone. That was because I'm the one who deals with everything. So I was getting phone calls about get auto glass and getting his windscreen and his back screen fixed and just taking other calls like that it's me who, who me deals with all that kind of stuff so um he doesn't like doing it and i don't like doing it either but one of us have to do it so i wasn't just standing watching him and playing about my phone i was actually keeping the business going from the outside and trying to do the work too so that's uh, the harsh reality of it but yeah we'll see you guys in the morning we're on friday morning and this morning i'm back in Cabelco. we're gonna get this little bit finished over here and um, dad's just a way to pick up a boundary box for the water somewhere um fittings and we'll get this tied up and finished off today um hopefully <laughs> Under that plank point there is a drain, um, I've caught it there, it's an old drain but I'm just going to go to this side of it and hopefully, um, hopefully I won't catch any more. canny on this bit because I'm going to be crossing a drain again and there's a toby in there as well so I don't know if it's water it's old anyway whatever it is but it's going to be canny by canny I mean gentle as gentle as you can be the digger Like that is the water pipe all in, done, ducked in for the electricity down to the water tanks. So that is this bit all done. Now we're going to have the joys of back filling it with this. 
so far we are loving this little machine um me and dad both i've actually asked what price it'd be to keep this one however this one i'm on comes with a shorter dipper and if we were buying it we'd want the longer dippers so if i asked for a price anyway to see what it comes back at i just think it's a really really um smooth machine it's fast the tracks it's wide so it's got good uh, like it's long so it's good got good balance as well um it's ideal uh i also like that it comes with auxiliary lines it comes with like cab things you want in a cab these days it's what month are we in we're on the start of may and yesterday was 26 degrees you don't want to be sitting in a digger at this day and age with no air con it comes with a quick hitch it comes with air con it comes with auxiliary lines it comes with the auto deceleration thing love that it's got radio it's got the usb port it's just comfort it's comfort for sitting in the cab and that's what you want um at this day and age. so me and dad both really liked it like it um so yeah be interesting to see what price it come back with and see if we will keep it we were thinking about swapping out hitachi we said that a few in a few videos ago dad was looking at kubotas and different brands as well it's just what price is going to be right and the backup we know we get good backup with Molson's. we know we get good backup with kubota hrn um so yeah um hyundai gives good backup too however i do like this machine dipper i likes it too in that video yesterday as well how far the seat back goes for like dad to get in as well there's plenty of room in it there's one thing what annoys me is this wee clip here every time i'm getting i hit my head off it um but i guess you only do that a few times and then you'll stop doing that but yeah let's get cracked on with this little bit i've only got a couple meters to go and then hopefully dad up here get this all connected up backfilled i'm gonna go i've got backfill with though the size of them boulders it's literally raised beach and boulders in here so we'll do what we can and put the boulders to the side as i said yes this is just a temporary water supply over to the garage um i'm not too sure why it's temporary right enough if you want water in the garage but whatever um so yeah let's get digging <laughs> There we are, that's all backfilled and tracked and again we've had to leave that open for the boundary box um, because the pipe place didn't have one this morning. On to the next job. Enjoying that sun dips. <laughs> Is that good? Being carried around like that. <laughs> it's getting a bit warm out here now so I'll just put him back in Dad's pickup because it's in the shade. Mine's in the sun over there, it's roasting. Windows down a wee drink so he'll be fine in there for 15 minutes till we go over and get this done. Perfect wee machine for this kind of jobs. So this is the next job. The water pipe originally went from there to there and then you can see the erosion here and it's came down and hit that old metal pipe. So this was just a temporary one. So we're going to catch it back there and put it around there probably. And then fix this bit here, put a new fitting on there. So he's jumped back in the machine again, just like that. Turf off first. To one side. As I'm just digging along the side of the pipe now. Safe hand digging it all. It's cracking soil.
can guarantee you that it's worse feeling in the cab than it looks up here. That's it, watch your camera, Jock. He knows better. Now doing the same on that side, digging back that one. Cables above him there. Dig back probably to there and just put it over here, connect it on there. This is really, really shallow, this one here as well. That's you on it. It's not deep. It's what you're up against all the time. It's quite handy the teeth for that, so you can just put the teeth on each side of it and then the pike will be down the middle. Quite handy. So that's where we're at. Now he's dug the water this wee trench a wee bit deeper down here, so the water comes down this way and doesn't go into the trench so much as what he's trying to dig. You'll dig that back to about here and connect this back up. When I was a kid and growing up, Dad had a JCB fast track and a trailer, he had a plant trailer and a tipping trailer. And this farm has still got, the t this is who he sold it to and it's still sitting up here. Look. That's his old dump trailer there. And every year we go to that farm and clear the hard standings and they use that trailer to dump the stuff. Um, so that's be a fair age now. So I remember used to sit in the fast track in the second seat with him when I was when I was a kid. And then he had the first lorry when I was a kid also. So it's been a while since that's been away, but it's nice to see it's but bits of it are still floating about locally. So across from here, which was just recently done, that's why it's still thingy, but from here over to that telegraph pole there, that is a track that I done last year. And people told me it would sink down and it would not whatever. Look at it. You can't even see in the field where it was. And the same right along, it goes from that pole there all the way along to the, as far as you can see, way over there, right round the field, um, and you can't see anything. Which is good. Then it comes down here. I don't know. I don't know what that is there. Every joint we put on, we put a down um, pipe so we can check the depth. It's 900 the whole way along and we put it where the joints are in case there is any leaking joints or whatever. We know exactly where they are. There's two pipes running. There's one coming to this house and there's one going to the farm from the mains a mile along the road there. Um, so the some of the joints are a wee bit out, but we put the, if that was the case, we put the joint, the pipe down right in the middle of them so we know the joints are within a metre or two. Um, so yeah, it's been a, a long job, but there's no rush because that house is getting fully renovated and it's not started yet. That's why there's been no plan to get the water done up until the storms at the start of the year when this one started leaking badly. Worse than that, and Dad came down a temporary fix without the machine or anything. So we'll fix this one. And they'll still be on the hill supply until the mains along there gets connected. So that's why there's really been no rush, but it'd be good to get this job all done the water and the water put on for them pipes everywhere here so there's the old metal one and then there's another black plastic one down there too see the end of it sticking up spaghetti junction i think they call this this is what we're doing time he's putting the tap up there he's doing away with some of these joints and everything else that's going on here
So I've just given it a bit of six pipe to go down to turn it, the tap off and still some to tighten up the tighten up the fins again. My words are not coming out today. Did you get a Cabelco one? I'm also one. Did you get out your goodie bag last night? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, moment of truth, turn this on and check for any leaks. No leaks here anyway. But you find the most leaks is when you are going onto the old metal. That's when it's got to be really, really tight, and that's when it's most likely to be most leaks. Plastic to plastic is pretty good these days with these fins. Is that you? No drips. Nope. Let's get this back filled now. You'll see we put two wee cuttings in it, but that pipe set just sits on there nicely. <laughs> Maybe not like that, like that. For some reason, Dad left the digging, the ditching bucket over there. Only got this one over here, so I just made do back pull this little bit with this bucket and then get that back on top of that. Again, if I was doing it any other way, so this is just using the smooth bucket. I can hold back in. That's it all back filled down there. This bit here, just put a little bit there to cover the pipe as well. It'll probably get washed away, but. It's fine now that it's just getting used for the troughs along at the very, very end what we've done at the start of the week. Dad's going to take it down here now and tidy up this little bit of erosion. Look at it there. Um, not that it's, it's really bad. Not that it's really bad, but could do just getting a little tidy up. That is me all done. I've left Dad in charge to finish off that little bit because I need to run into the bank before it closes. Um, so yeah, I think that's me all done for the week. Might be doing something tomorrow, but if not, thank you as always for likes, comments and subscribing. Come back next week and see what we're up to. Ah. But let's see if I can get this um, Bluetooth working. Not that one. BT. find it? The answer is no, I can't get it to work just now, but only because I don't have enough time, I need to crack on and get this dog so. Oh. Whoops. I swear that I've got drops here or something today. I don't know what's going on with me. Oh, for... <laughs> Right in the nettles. Ah! I wonder why I lose so many of them. Your fault, Debbie Do.